from us. We've got a red one, a yellow one, and a blue one. And they are really heavy, so Peppa or Thomas couldn't move them. So they both shouted for help. I wonder who's going to come and help them. So Pepper and Thomas are still stuck. When in comes Sporticus. Look, Pepper said to Thomas, Sporticus has come in. Wow. Hey, guys, Sporticus said, what seems to be the problem? Pepper said, look, there's boulders, Play-Doh rocks on the road stopping me and Thomas get in to the park. Could you help us and move them for us, Sporticus? asked Peppa. Sporticus said, of course. So Sporticus started to pick up the red rock, which was the biggest one. And once he got it up, he said, wow, this is heavy. How did these manage to get on the road? So he manages to move the red one. And he said, let's do the blue one next. Blue is my favourite colour. And Thomas is as well. So he manages to move that one as well. But the yellow one seems to be a struggle. But he manages to pick that one up as well. And manages to put them all on the side of the road. Where they should be. So he said, i got to sit down now. Phew, that was hard work, Sporticus said. So Peppa jumps onto Thomas and said, Come on, Sporticus, now you're in our way. And they all laughed together. Sport Sporticus said, Right, I better get back to Lazy Town now and make sure everything's fine back there. If you need me again, give me a shout, Sporticus said. So Peppa and Thomas managed to get some help to move the Play Doh rocks from the road and now they can head off to the park and have some fun for the weekend. Don't forget to subscribe, said Pepper. Pepper and George went to the park when George said, Wow, look at all these surprise eggs, Pepper. We got Play Doh surprise eggs, Thomas and Friends surprise eggs, Barbie surprise eggs, and Hot Wheels Kinder surprise eggs. Wow, Pepper said. How cool is that? Shall we open them? And George said, that's a great idea. We'll have to open them before we can play on the slides and on the swings. So with a helping hand, Pepper and George open the surprise eggs. So let's see what's in the Hot Wheels Kinder Surprise Egg first, said Pepper. What will we find? George said, wow, look at all that cool chocolate we got. So in the first Kinder Surprise Egg, we've got a cool Hot Wheel car. And it's red, said Pepper, just like my jumper. So shall we look at the collection that we can get? Yes, George said. Show me the collection. Wow, look, you can get a red one, blue one, yellow one, brown one. Loads of cool Hot Wheels cars. So what egg shall we open next? George said as he jumped on top of the Hot Wheels car. Let's open the James egg, said George. Wow, we all love James, don't we? And again, loads of chocolate for Pepper and George. They won't need be able to eat all the chocolate at once, but I'm sure they'll keep it. Who will they get? Wow! They got Thomas, the tank engine, number one. Pepper loves Thomas. He said, look how cool this toy is, the detail is lovely, said Pepper. What egg should we open next? Which egg? Let's do a Play-Doh surprise egg and see what's inside. Wow, look at that. We've got a cool Hello Kitty with a fireman's outfit and a fire hat on. How cute is that? 
said George. Peppa and George love Hello Kitty. It's loads of fun. So next, we'll open the Barbie surprise egg from Kinder Surprise. Wow, look at all that cool chocolate we got again, said Peppa. We've got way too much chocolate today. So inside the Barbie Kinder Surprise, Peppa and George found a really cool Barbie holding a guitar. How cool is that? Look at that. That's really nice. So cool, said Peppa the pig. George loves the new Barbie toy that he's got. So does Peppa. So Peppa and George say, what should we open next? Let's do another Play-Doh surprise egg and see what's inside. Wow! It's Mike from Monsters University holding his school books. That's such a cool toy, said Peppa and George. George loves Mike from Monsters University. So let's open the last and final egg, Peppa said. It's a Percy egg. And we've got more chocolate. And who will we find? It's number five, James. Wow. James is George's favourite Thomas and Friends train. So Peppa Pig and George went to the park, not expecting to find anything, just to have a good time on the slides. But look at all these cool toys that they found. And George said, are we going to take them on Peppa? And Peppa said, yeah, we'll have to get Mommy and Daddy Pig over to help us. There's too many for us to play with at once. We've got loads of cool surprise eggs. And loads of cool surprise toys. Grandad Dog and Peppa Pig have just finished cleaning the garage. Peppa says, Wow, we did a great job today, Grandad Dog. The garage is looking spotless. Grandad Dog spots a cat. As the cat goes over to Peppa, Peppa said, Grandad, I'm sure this is Postman Pat's black and white cat, Jess, said Peppa Pig. I'm sure it is. Call him over, Grandad, see if he comes. So Grandad shouts, Jess, and, and the cat comes over. He said, oh, I'm sure this is Jess. Postman Pat would be worried sick. I wonder if Postman Pat's looking for her right now. Peppa's pig said, Grandad, you'll have to phone Postman Pat just to see if he knows Jess has gone. So Grandad Dog went off to phone Postman Pat. And while he's phoning Postman Pat, the black and white cat hid behind the tyre machine. So Grandad Dog comes back and says, Where's Jess gone, Peppa? And Peppa said, The cat was just right there a second ago. Wow, well, where's it gone? It must be hiding. So Postman Pat comes over and says, Hey guys, have you seen Jess? Where is she? Grandad Dog said, She was just here a second ago while I rang you, and now we can't find her. So we don't know where she is, but she hasn't gone far. She looked a little bit scared, said Peppa. Postman Pat said, thanks guys, I've been worried sick, I don't know where she is, let's find her. So Peppa Pig goes round the side of the garage to see if she can see the cat. Oh, there it is. Jess is hiding there, look, she looks scared. So Postman Pat goes over to see if it's his cat, and it is. So Jess, the black and white cat, seen Postman Pat came running out and give Postman Pat a big hug. The cat and Postman Pat are 
back together as a family. Thanks, guys, Postman Pat said. It's friends like you we need in hard times. So Grandad Dog, Peppa Pig, Postman Pat and Jess the Cat were happy that they found Jess. Don't forget to subscribe. Grandad Dog and Peppa Pig were at the garage when Peppa said, what are we doing now, Grandad? Grandad replied, saying we're waiting for a special delivery from Postman Pat. So Peppa gets really excited and said, What is it? What is it? And Grandad said, You'll have to wait and see, Peppa. Oh, Peppa can't wait to see Postman Pat and Jess, the black and white cat. Grandad Dog says, Here's Postman Pat now, Pepper. And Jess is in there as well. No, Postman Pat, come back. Oh, hi guys. I forgot I got your special delivery. And Postman Pat seems to be leaning on Jess. It's with a helping hand. Postman Pat gets out of the his van and said, Hi Grandad, hi Pepper. How are you? Pepper and Grandad are great. Meanwhile, Jess jumps out of the car onto the bonnet and can't wait to see Pepper. And so Pepper calls Jess over. And Jess goes over and sees Pepper and Grandad Dog. So, what have you got for us, Postman Pat? Is it my tire machine? So, Postman Pat said, Give me a minute, I'll go and get it. So, Postman Pat goes up and gets a special delivery, which is the tire machine. Wow, that was really heavy, Postman Pat said. Pepper said, that's such a big machine, Grandad. What's it for? It's to pump the tires up on the cars or bikes, said Grandad Dog. Postman Pat said, oh, you wouldn't mind pumping up my tires, would you, Grandad Dog? think they're a little bit low. So with a helping hand, the van is moved into place with Postman Pat inside. And Grandad Dog can then pump the tyres up on Postman Pat's red van. So Grandad pumps the tyres up and said, All done now, Postman Pat. And Postman Pat said, Oh, thanks, Grandad Dog. That'll really help with my deliveries today. So Postman Pat calls Jess back. Come on, Jess. Jump back in. So Jess jumps in and goes through the front window. So Postman Pat's really happy now. He's seen Grandad Dog and Pepper, and he's had his tyres pumped up. So Grandad and Pepper were left to look at the new machine. So now the garage is full. Oh no! Grandad fell over. Are you alright, Grandad? said Pepper. I'm fine, said Grandad Dog. So now the garage is full with three big machines. Don't forget to subscribe. Grandad Dog, Peppa Pig, Fireman Sam, Postman Pat and his black and white cat, and Mr. Bull have all come across this really cool tunnel with numbers on. And Fireman Sam says, Peppa, what could be behind the doors? Why would they have numbers on them? So Postman Pat says, the numbers are 5, 1 and 6. Pepper moves over to have a look and says, wow, you're right, Postman Pat. What should we do? Grandad Dog says, I think we better open the doors and see what's behind them. I think, Pepper, you should open door number 5 and see what's behind the doors. So Grandad Dog Postman Pat's black and white cat move out of the way so Peppa Pig can open door number five 
and see what's behind door number five. So Peppa go walks over and he jumps on door number five. Wow! It's James, shouts Peppa. How are you, James? He said, oh, I was only sleeping. He said, I think the other trains are sleeping as well. But he said, it's time to do a job now, so let's wake him up. So Peppa's woke up James in good time. He might have slept in. So Postman Pat goes over and says, I'll open the next door. I'll open door number six, Postman Pat says. Wow! It's Percy. How are you, Percy? Postman Pat said. Percy said, I was just great. I was having a really cool dream about finishing this job off. So Percy's happy to be awake. And he said, wow, I can see Fireman Sam, Pepper Pig, and your black and white cat. So Fireman Sam says, right guys, I'm going to open door number one. I'm sure we all know what's going to be behind door number one, but let's open it anyway. Wow, it's Thomas, the tank engine. How cool is that? When they're all sleeping, it doesn't look very interesting. But when you open all the doors, it comes alive, everyone said. So Percy, James and Thomas can all get on with their jobs for today. Now they've been woken up by the special characters of Fireman Sam, Pepper Pig, Grandad Dog, Postman Pat and Mr Bull. Don't forget to subscribe, says Pepper. Pepper Pig, George and Thomas the Tank headed down the shop and they go in to pick up some Shopkins. This is a collection of really cool characters with fruit and veg, cakes, sweets, pantry, party food, health and beauty, frozen characters and of course we've got our limited edition. So Pepper opens the door and they go into the shop. So Peppa gets the trolley. Thomas says, should we get the both of them? So we'll get four characters. And George said, yeah, that's a cool idea. So George goes in and pays for the two Shopkins. So Peppa pushes the trolley out of the way. And, Pe and George comes out. Peppa said, I can't wait to see what characters we get today. Hopefully we'll get a rare one. Oh no, Peppa fell over in excitement. George said, are you okay, Peppa? Peppa said, yeah, I'm great. I just fell over. I just get too excited sometimes. So obviously, with a helping hand, we'll open the Shopkins. And we'll see what we get. And we'll get two characters in each basket. Thomas said, I hope we get some rare ones. It'd be really cool if you got something special, said George. So as we open the basket, we'll see the characters inside. And the characters come in two little blue bags said Thomas and Peppa said yeah that's the same colour as you Thomas and George's jumper blue so that's one for George and one for Pepper. so let's open our first one and see what we get wow our first one is flutter cake number 38 said George so let's open the second Shopkins and see what we get in this one. Hopefully we get something special. And Pepper said, wow, that's Chap Ellie, number 117, 177. And that one's rare. Wow, that's pretty cool, said Thomas. I wonder what we'll get in our second basket.
basket. So with the help in hand, of course, we open the second basket. What will we find? said George. We're going to take these home to show Mommy Pig and Daddy Pig later on. So opening the third Shopkins, we find Rainbow Bite number 84, said George. And what's the last one? Will it be special? It most certainly is, said Thomas. It's Spilt Milk number 67, which is a rare one. Wow, what a cool collection you got. So Thomas comes round to have a look at the collection and says, wow, we got some really good pulls today. So Peppa, George and Thomas are really happy with the Shopkins they found. Don't forget to subscribe, said Peppa. It seems as though James had come across a spaceship but in came Thomas and said this isn't just any spaceship James this is Peppa Pig's spaceship oh really said James yes of course can't you see where Peppa sits so they both called for Peppa they said Peppa are you here yes I am said Peppa what can I do for you and Peppa Pig was dressed up in a spaceship outfit and James had jumped into the driver's seat at the top and Peppa said oh James you can't drive this spaceship just yet you haven't got the experience necessary to drive such a machine but in the middle is where we can teach you to drive the spaceship at the bottom is where we get changed to put all the clothes in and at the top is where I jump in and I can drive you anywhere you want. So we could fly to Mars, Jupiter, Venus, anywhere you like. We could even see Orion's belt, which is a cluster of stars in the sky. Oh, that sounds like loads of fun, said Thomas. Let's go, Pepper. What, you want us to go out on the open space? Really? Yes, said James. So as we went to shut the door, we broke it. Oh no, Thomas, what did you do? Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay, said Peppa. We've got our help in hand, just to help us out. So we fixed the door, and then we closed Thomas in the bottom. So it's time for Peppa to jump in and fly, and take James and Thomas for a fly in the spaceship. It was one late evening when Mammy Pig was waiting at the lighthouse for Daddy Pig and Daddy Pig arrived in the speedboat but he got stuck on a sand embankment. Oh no, said Daddy Pig, I'm stuck. So he jumped out of the speedboat and he jumped into the sand but this was quicksand, it wasn't just any sand so he was sinking slowly. Help, said Daddy Pig to Mammy Pig, we need to get some help. Who shall I call? said Mammy Pig. Call Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig quick, Mammy Pig. So Mammy Pig went off and called for help. But it wasn't long until Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig showed up. Hold on guys, shouted Peppa Pig and Fireman Sam, who was in the Ponta Pandi fire rescue helicopter as they flew past. And they said, we're going to have to turn around. Daddy Pig, when you see us come close, grab on and we'll pull you out to the quicksand. Okay, shouted Daddy Pig. So Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig went in. And Daddy Pig grabbed on. Thanks, guys. You really saved me. Okay, we're going to put you down now. So hold on and leave go. Great job, guys, said Mammy and Daddy Pig. You saved me again. And it's really late in the evening. You can see it's getting dark. So Peppa Pig jumped out and said, Come on, Daddy Pig. 
Let's get home before it's too dark to find a find our way home. If you guys like saving Mommy and Daddy Pig, don't forget to subscribe. Fireman Sam, Peppa Pig, George, Thomas, and Percy have all come to this cool theme park slide. Looking at the slide is quite high, said Fireman Sam. Who should go first? It's got to be checked first to make sure it is safe. So Fireman Sam puts himself forward and says, I'll go up there first just to make sure it is safe for you guys. So Pepper gets really excited. And George can't wait to try the slide out. So Pepper said, go on Sam. I can't wait for my turn. Go make sure it's alright for us. So Fireman Sam goes over to the slide and woo, down he goes. Fireman Sam said, wow, that was amazing guys. It's really safe as well. So Percy steps forward and says, wow, I'm really excited guys. Can I go first? Do you mind if I go? And Pepper says, no, go on Percy. So Percy goes down the slide. Wow, that was really fast. Percy said. So Percy comes over and said, who's going next, guys? Who's sh who should go next? George steps forward and says, I'll go next. So George tries the slide out as well. And George comes back and says, wow, guys, that was really cool and loads of fun. George wants to do it again, but he has to wait his turn. So it's time for Pepper the pig to go next. So Pepper goes off, goes on to the slide, and down you go. Wow, Pepper said, wow, that was well worth the wait. I'm really happy that I waited to go on. So last but not least is Thomas the tank. Hey guys, it's my turn now. I've waited till last. So Thomas goes up to the slide, slides down the slide, slips off the edge, but he said that was super fun. So everyone got a go on the slide today, and it was super safe. Everyone had loads of fun. Don't forget to subscribe. Pepper, George, and Grandad Dog have come to the theme park to go on one of the rides. So Grandad Dog says, guys, do you want to go on this cool ride over here? And then Pepper said, yeah, I'd love to go on one of them rides. George gets really excited and can't wait to go on. So Pepper and George said, yeah, let's go on the ride. So Pepper gets up, jumps on the ride first. And then George follows Pepper. Now Grandad Dog is a little bit concerned that Pepper and George are a bit too small to be on the ride today. So Grandad Dog watches and makes sure they're in and starts to spin them round. And as they're spinning them around, oh no, George has fallen over and Pepper has. But Pepper shouts out, keep going Grandad, it's loads of fun. <laughs> And then Grandad stops and says, Come on, guys, you've got to stand up. So Peppa jumps out of the ride along with George. And George said, Grandad, that was a lot of fun. It was so funny when I fell over. So Peppa Pig and George and Grandad Dog had a great day on the ride. Don't forget to subscribe. Pepper, George and Grandad Dog are outside the garage. They are waiting for Thomas, Percy and Mavis to come. Pepper says, hey Thomas. Thomas says, hey guys. Pepper says, oh Thomas, I'd love to sit on top of you and go for a ride. Oh, but I keep falling off. What can we do? George. Would like to go on number six Percy. 
Peppa says to Grandad Dog, Grandad Dog, what can we do? So Grandad Dog has a think of a way to sit, be able to sit on top of the trains. Grandad Dog says, hey guys, I've got a cool idea. So Grandad Dog goes off to get some Play-Doh. Peppa says, what are we going to use Play-Doh for, Grandad? Grandad Dog says, I got the Play-Doh. Here it come. So the idea is, guys, Grandad Dog says, we're going to put the Play-Doh on top of the trains. So then we can all sit on top of each train and go for a ride together. So with a help in hand, we place the Play-Doh on top of the trains, making a seat for Pepper, George, and Grandad Dog. George says, I want the pink one, that's on Percy. Grandad Dog says, that's fine, you can sit wherever you like, George. So Pepper sits on top of number one Thomas. Wow, this is really cool, Pepper says. George, jump on. So George jumps on Percy. And then Grandad Dog says, oh guys, shall I get on Mavis as well? Pepper says, yeah, jump on, Grandad. So Grandad Dog sits on top of Mavis. How fun is this, Grandad Dog says. Just a little cool idea on how to sit on top of Thomas, Percy and Mavis. So Pepper, George and Grandad Dog found a way to sit on the trains. Don't forget to subscribe, says Pepper. Thanks for watching. Percy and Thomas were having lots of fun racing each other. They were just playing like they do every other day but this day they were traveling a bit too fast and as you can see Percy takes the front Thomas takes the front and they both race and they, they both seem to be having lots of fun and Thomas said I'm faster than you Percy and then Percy said no I'm faster than you Thomas so that's why they were going faster than normal. And oh no, PC Selby has seen them racing a bit too fast. So PC Selby gets out of his police car and says, Hey guys, you were going really fast back there. I was with Peppa Pig. And even Peppa thought he was going a bit too quick. I'm just saying, if you slow down, you can have a bit more fun and you can be in control. Because remember, when you fell over at the garage, when you went too fast into there? Thomas said, we're sorry, PC Selby. We was just having fun. So Pepper said, we know that, guys. It's just we're trying to make sure you two are safe. And that's what it's all about. If you stay safe, you can have more fun time after time. So Percy said, Thomas, next time we'll slow down a little bit. And we'll still have just as much fun as we always do. So Peppa said, good work guys. It looked like he was... Oh no, Peppa Pig's in trouble. The Joker seems to have found Peppa Pig on her own. And the Joker said, finally, you're mine, Peppa Pig. But Peppa shouts for help. And I wonder who's going to come to Peppa's help this time. Will it be Batman? Maybe it'll be Fireman Sam. Who knows? When in comes the Superman. And Pepper is now safe. So Pepper runs behind Superman. 
And Superman said, Joker, what are you doing around these parts? So the Joker said, you're no problem for me. And he aims his tank and shoots at the Superman. Oh, said Joker, that's not going to affect me. So it was up to Superman to finish off the Joker for good. So he shoots and he misses him. Oh no. But Superman has reloaded and he manages to hit the Joker with his second blow. That should finish you off, Joker, said Superman. But the Joker has managed to get back up, so he climbs back into his tank and Superman said, I'm not having that. You got no chance. So it was up to Superman to grab the Joker with his big grabber and said, Now you're all mine, Joker. You're not going to terrorize these towns anymore. So Superman managed to catch the Joker and has got him. And everyone's safe. Especially our favorite little pig, Peppa Pig. And Peppa said, Thanks, Superman. You really saved me today. It means a lot that you'd come and save me, a little old pig like me, said Peppa Pig. Superman was just doing his job, saving the world. Don't forget to subscribe, said Peppa. Look what Daddy Pig had bought for Peppa Pig today. And Peppa's going to open these Kinder Surprise Minions with her new skeleton friend that she got for Halloween. Wow, look at all them cool minions on the back. I wonder who we will get. So let's get stuck in and take a look. <laughs> Oh, Daddy Pig, do you think you'll ever get a minion in these Kinder Surprise eggs? We've opened two now. I think this third one might have a minion inside, though. So let's open it and see what it is. You've got to have patience, see, Pepper. Oh, wow, and there's our minion. It's the same colour as you, yellow, like your jacket. That's pretty cool. So let's wind our skeleton up and see what the skeleton will do today. Come on, skeleton. What are you going to do? So the skeleton walks in. He knocks the dinosaur over. He turns around. And he takes the dinosaur away. Come back with our dinosaur, you evil skeleton. Peppa Pig was at the Pontopandi fire station with Fireman Sam. And they were both going to open two Kinder Surprise eggs. But these are some special Kinder Surprise eggs. And they have some minions inside them. But I wonder what minions we would find. So shall we open the surprise eggs, said Fireman Sam to Peppa Pig? 
Of course, said Peppa Pig. Let's get stuck in. But we'd need a helping hand to open these surprise eggs. Because they are some of the best surprise eggs in the world. So with a helping hand, Peppa Pig and Fireman Sam start opening the surprise eggs. But I wonder what they would get. Would they get a minion? And if they did, what minions would they get? So let's look in the first surprise egg and see what we find. So in the first surprise egg, we have a minion. Wow, said Peppa Pig and Fireman Sam. That's one of the best minions I've ever seen. Especially the fact it came out of a surprise egg. That's just amazing. So with a helping hand, we put the minion together. And it's not just any minion. It's a minion which was mining for gold. And he's got some diamonds on the end. Wow. And Fireman Sam said, he's got a red hat. So I'll have that one. So this egg is Peppa Pig's egg. But I wonder what minion Peppa Pig would get. But Peppa Pig wasn't fussy. She was just happy to open a surprise egg that contained a minion inside from Kinder Surprise. Wow. So in this one, we have a really cool minion. And Peppa was over the moon because this one had a little guitar or a ukulele. Wow, said Peppa Pig and Fireman Sam. We got some cool surprises this time. I wonder if we open more next time if we'd get two minions again. So Sam stood next to his minion and Peppa Pig stood next to her minion. And they were both really happy with what they got. So let us know in the comments below which was your favourite minion. Don't forget to subscribe, said Peppa Pig. Daddy Pig. Peppa and George were all at the house. Peppa and George were playing upstairs. They loved playing upstairs together. And Daddy Pig was expecting a special guest. Who could this special guest be? It's Sporticus. And he's got a kind surprise egg for Peppa and George. So Sporticus says, Hey Daddy Pig, how are you? I'm really excited to be at your house today. Do you mind if I just sit by you? I've had a long walk and carrying that kind of surprise egg is really heavy work. So Sportica said, Shall we call Pepper and George down so they can open the kind of surprise egg? Daddy Pig said, Great idea, Sportica. So Daddy Pig calls Pepper and George, shouting up, George, Pepper, someone's here to see you. So George comes down and said, Wow, it's Sportica. And he goes and sits next to him on the sofa. So Peppa comes down and said, Wow, when did you come, Sporticus? And there's this kinder surprise egg for us. Sporticus said, Yeah, I bought it for you and George. So shall we open it? So with a helping hand, we'll open the kinder surprise egg that Sporticus has bought for Peppa and George. Loads of chocolate, said Sporticus. Are you going to share it with me? So let's see what we got. Wow, look at that. I think it's a bike. Shall we build it? Said Sporticus. So after a helping hand, Pepper, George and Sporticus and Daddy Pig can see what the Kinder Surprise Egg held. Which is a really nice bike. Who's going to have the bike? Peppa or George? Said Sporticus. And Peppa said, I think we'll share it. So Sporticus gets up from the sofa and says, Right guys, I have to go now. I've got people to save. And i got to keep an eye on Lazy Town. But I'll definitely see you again soon. So Peppa, George and Daddy Pig all said, Bye Sporticus. So Pepper and George are really happy that they managed to get a kind of surprise egg from a special guest. Don't forget to subscribe, said Pepper. The prison visit. Pepper Pig, Fireman Sam and George were all visiting the Lego City Jail. The prison which keeps all the baddies at bay. And George said, look, look at this cool gate. 
So the gate raised up. And they said, come on guys, let's go in. And the guard said, up here. Come up here guys, you can see the place a lot better from up here. So Peppa, George, all turned around. And Sam said, hey, let's go up them stairs. And once they was up on the second floor with the prison officer, Peppa said, what's that burglar doing over there? That's not any burglar, the officer said. That's the notorious diamond thief that we've been trying to catch for ages, but we finally got him. And now it's his turn to be in jail. So Peppa said, look at all these cool cars you got. You've got two police cars and a motorbike. Wow, this place is so cool. I really like the bike. Maybe we'll see that in a little bit. But as they looked around the Lego City prison, they could see loads of things. They could see satellites for communication. They could see CCTV cameras. They could see binoculars, lights, torches. You name it, this place has got it. It's so cool, George said. So once the prisoner was on his way to the prison, they could see just how he did it. And they got the cameras just above the cells to keep an eye on them prisoners 24 hours a day so they never get out again. So you've even got a really cool ladder, said George. I love that little ladder which takes you up to the jail. And the officer said, that's the only way to get up there because we'd like to make it difficult for the prisoners to get down. So shall we see, go and see the cars a bit closer? I'm sure you'd like it down there. So the officer explained, this is not just any car peppered in George and Sam. This is our special dog unit car. And we got a dog in the back. Wow. Look at that dog. Can he come out? Of course he can. He's a highly trained police dog. They're really nice. As the garage door closed. So Peppa, Sam and George are all really enjoying their day at the prison. And it's really nice to see different parts of the city and Sam said if you ever need us for anything just remember officer we have a fire station just around the corner from here so we can come and save you at any time if anything should happen in the, in the future oh thanks Sam the officer said and George called the dog over and as he called him you could see the dog run and jump on George and everyone laughed. Pepper said, what a great day we've had. If you've had a great day too, don't forget to subscribe. Pepper Pig and George have come across a really spooky castle. When George said, this is pretty scary, Pepper. I think we need to get some friends to help us. Pepper said, great idea. So Peppa phones Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. And now they have to wait for Scooby and Shaggy to come. They said they wouldn't be long. So while they wait then, they're quite scared. And Scooby comes along with his magnifying glass. He's ready to look. And Shaggy comes along with his burgers. And Peppa said, what have you got your burgers for? Shaggy, we're looking at this abandoned castle. We're not going for food. And Shaggy replied saying, there's always time for food, Peppa. So George goes upstairs to have a little wander about and see what's there. Pepper says, be safe, George. So Shaggy and Pepper are going to explore. So they explore and they can see like a little trap door. 
So Peppa said, I'll jump on it now and see what it does. So Peppa jumps on the, the little hatch and out comes skeleton hands. Peppa jumps out of the way. But Shaggy's not phased. Shaggy's quite strong. And he said, look, it's only fake. They're just there to scare you. So let's go and see what George is up to upstairs. So Shaggy and Peppa go upstairs. And George says, look, I found another trap door. Lucky I never walked into it. So with a helping hand, we can see how the trap door works. Peppa said, good work, George. Just be a bit safer next time. So downstairs they go and they find Shaggy and Scooby have found a skeleton. And he's looking at it with his magnifying glass. And he said, it's just a fake one, look. It's plastic. It did scare me for a second at first. Scooby and Shaggy and Pepper all go onto the second floor and they find this cool gun. It shoots out and it's probably to protect the castle when there was already people here. So Pepper goes up the rope and said, come up here guys, we can see everything from up here. So Shaggy and Scooby go up there and they all call George and they shout, George, George! Come up here, look. It's cool up here. So up goes George. And said, is there room for me? Yeah, there's always room for you, George. Said Peppa. So they all found the castle very interesting. Don't forget to subscribe. Daddy Pig and Mammy Pig, Peppa and George, were all going along in their new camper van. When they see a roadblock ahead, I wonder what this could mean. Oh no, it's only the evil Joker in the Joker tank. And he said, ha ha, finally I got you Peppa Pig family all to myself. I've wanted that camper van for so long. Go away, said Daddy Pig. As the Joker said, no, I'm not going anywhere. And Mammy Pig was really scared. But Joker said, I'm going to get you. So he closes his gun and he said, I'm going to shoot your new camper down. So he jumps back into the Joker tank and he gets ready to aim. Duck down, said Daddy Pig to George and Pepper. Quick! So they all duck down. But oh no! The Joker shot the camper van. But the camper van's a lot stronger than he thought. Ha ha! said Daddy Pig. You haven't got a clue what to do with this camper van. As they all shouted for help. And Superman came. Joker, what are you doing to Peppa Pig, Daddy Pig, Mammy and George? Don't you just leave the guys alone? You keep messing with them all the time. So the Superman took down the Joker as he punched him out of the Joker tank. Meanwhile, once they got up, the Joker managed to get the better of Superman and he jumped on top of him. Oh no, finally. I've got you, Superman. But Daddy Pig had a good idea. And Daddy Pig said, watch this, guys, as he jumped on top of the Joker. And the Joker didn't expect it. Ha ha! Oh no, said Mammy Pig. Are you okay, Daddy Pig? I'm just fine, Daddy Pig said. My hero, said Peppa. So everyone was really worried about Daddy Pig. But Daddy Pig got up. And Superman said, thanks, Daddy Pig, you really saved the day today. My hero, said Mammy Pig, and everyone was safe. Right, Joker, Superman said, we are going to jail, and this time I'm going to lock you up for good. Thanks, Daddy Pig. So Superman headed off, and they were all safe. It's Christmas time, and everyone has gathered round the Ponta Pandy fire station. Marshall is here. Riders here, Olaf, Peppa Pig, Fireman Sam, Daddy Pig, Mommy Pig, Batman, Robin, Zuma, Scooby-Doo, Superman, 
everyone's gathered round. When Mammy Pig says, Hey guys, would you like to sing with me? Everyone didn't really want to sing, so Mammy Pig decided to take it upon herself to start singing. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The tidings we bring to you and your kid. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now bring us some figgy pudding. Now bring us some figgy pudding. Now bring us some figgy pudding and bring it. Wow, that was really good, Mammy Pig. Great job. And everyone shouted Merry Christmas from the Surprise Toy Collections channel. I hope everyone has a fantastic Christmas this Christmas and you all get what you want. And just remember, Christmas isn't just about receiving things or what you get. It's about the people you spend it with and about the people in your life. So remember, just enjoy your day and be happy. And don't forget to subscribe said Peppa. Oh, that was cheeky. Peppa's new car. Mommy Pig said to Daddy, Is the car outside, Daddy Pig? And Daddy Pig said, Yes. The Peppa's new car's outside. And Mommy Pig said, What we need to do is we need to get Peppa and George downstairs from in the bedroom because they play another minute to surprise her. Mommy Pig said to Daddy, you spoil Peppa buying her a new car. And Daddy Pig said, yeah, I know, but she deserves it. So, so Mommy Pig shouts up to Peppa and George and says, Peppa, George, come here. So George said, oh, Mommy's calling us, Peppa. Shall we go down? So Peppa goes downstairs and George follows. And Peppa says, What's the matter, Mammy? Is it food time? Or is it bath time? Mammy said, No, we got something outside to show you guys. Do you want to go outside? And Peppa said, What's out there? She, Mammy Pig said, Go outside and you'll see. So Peppa, George, Mommy Pig and Daddy Pig all went outside and Peppa said, wow, what a cool car. And then Mommy Pig and Daddy Pig said, it's yours, Peppa. We just bought it for you. And Peppa couldn't believe how lucky she was to be given a car just like her dad's. So she jumps inside and Peppa and George jump in the front. And Peppa said, wow, this car is so cool, Daddy. Thank you so much. And Mommy Pig said, just make sure you're being safe. That's all I ask. Just make sure you're safe and keep your brother safe, safe as well. And Daddy Pig said, now go and have some fun, guys. So Peppa and George went off in a new car to have some fun. And Mommy and Daddy Pig said, They grow up so fast, don't they, Daddy Pig? Don't forget to subscribe, said Mommy Pig. Daddy Pig had come round to the woodland playset to see Richard. And Peppa came in and said, Hey, Richard, how are you? And Peppa started messing about with Richard and tickling him. Kid. Come on, stop messing around, said Daddy Pig. Let's go and take a look around the woodland playset. Look how cool it is. I can see some candy canes, cookies, smarties, and even some obbies in the cauldron. Now come on, Daddy Pig, pick one out. So with a helping hand, we pick one of the blue obbies balls out of the cauldron. And we tip it on top of the cookies and the smarties. Wow, it went straight back in the pot.
Let's get it back out. Come on, let's tip them out and see how cool they look on the floor. So with a helping hand, we can place them on the floor. And Pepper, Richard and Daddy Pig all really love the blue or bees balls. What's behind that door? said Pepper. Let's go and take a look. So Daddy Pig, Richard and Pepper Pig all went through the door. Wow! More candy canes and more Smarties. Let us know in the comments below if you guys like the new Woodland playset from Peppa Pig. Don't forget to subscribe, said Peppa. Peppa Pig had borrowed Daddy Pig's car to go to the park when she said, Oh, there's the slide now. And Peppa Pig was really, really excited to try the slide out because this is Spaceship Peppa. But out of nowhere, it started to rain. And it was Orbeez balls that started to come down from the heavens above. And Peppa couldn't believe her luck. And she was stuck in what we'll call an Orbeez rainstorm. Oh no, shouted Peppa. And she got out of the car. And she said, wow, this is really cool. But before she knew it, the rainstorm just kept coming and coming. And before she knew it, she was stuck at the park in Daddy Pig's car with a rain full of Orbeez balls. But luckily for Peppa Pig, Daddy Pig could use the speedboat to come and save Peppa. And Daddy Pig said, hey Peppa, I thought that you would get caught out in this rain. These Orbeez rainstorms can be really dangerous sometimes. Loads of fun, but still, you don't want to get too stuck and we need you to get home to have some food. So Peppa Pig said, oh, Daddy Pig, you really saved the day today. The car's stuck, and now we can use your speedboat to get home. So Daddy Pig said, come on, Peppa, jump on. So Peppa Pig jumped on to Daddy Pig's speedboat, and off they went. And now the speedboat can drive over the Orbeez balls. So Peppa was really excited to get home and have some food. So come on, Daddy Pig, let's go. So Daddy Pig kind of saved the day today. If you guys would like to get stuck in an Orbeez rainstorm, don't forget to subscribe, said Peppa. Grandad Dog and Peppa Pig are outside the garage. And Grandad Dog says, Oh, Peppa, look at these rocks in the way. It's stopping customers from getting to the petrol station, the car wash and the tyre shop. How are we going to move them? Grandad Dog tries to pick one up. Oh, he says, that's way too heavy for me. We're going to have to call in Mr. Bull. So Grandad Dog goes off to the office and he phones Mr. Bull. Peppa Pig can't wait to see what Mr. Bull is going to do. Hey, Mr. Bull, could you come over here? I need help quick, says Grandad Dog. So, Grandad Dog and Peppa Pig wait for Mr. Bull. Hey, there's Mr. Bull now, Peppa. Watch out. So Peppa likes to be close. To Mr. Bull's truck. So Mr. Bull gets out to have a look. Whoa, you have a serious problem here, he says. I can sort that out. I can move the rocks over there, says Mr. Bull. So Mr. Bull picks up the rocks with his big tractor arm. Oh, I missed that one, says Mr. Bull. So with a helping hand, Mr. Bull gets the Play-Doh rock in to his tractor arm. Where should we put him? We'll put him over here for now, says Mr. Bull. So one by one, Mr. Bull starts moving 
the Play-Doh rocks. Last two out of the way, says Mr. Bull. We're on to our last one now. Mr. Bull is very experienced in doing these kind of jobs with his tractor arm. But these rocks seem to be getting stuck. It's alright, Mr. Bull says. With a helping hand, I'll be just fine. So Mr. Bull moves the three rocks out of the way. And Grandad Dog says, Hey, Mr. Bull, thanks. Now the customers can get to their fuel, car wash, and their tyres done today. Thanks for all your help. So Grandad Dog, Peppa Pig, wait for the next customers to come in today. Peppa Pig says, don't forget to subscribe. And it's all cleared for the next customers. Thanks for watching. Peppa Pig and Thomas were both heading to the park. When all, all of a sudden, they came across a roadblock. Well, here I am. I won't far. That sky is really fast. You won't believe how quick she is when she gets going. Those little legs work really hard. So Rubble and Sky had come over to see Thomas and Percy. But Sky has got something special to show the guys. Look guys, look, look. It's my new helicopter, said Sky. Do you like it? Wow, said Thomas, Percy and Rubble. That's fantastic. Look at the detail on the front. I love the paw. Can I have a go? said Rubble. Oh, I don't know. Go on, give me a go, said Rubble. Okay, said Sky, but just don't take off in it, because you might not be able to land it. So Sky was really nice by letting Rubble go in the driver's seat. Again, Percy when it was time for and the Thomas to really up. liked. So James woke up and said, come on, Thomas, Sky's new helicopter. it's morning, it's time to wake up. So Thomas woke up, and Thomas to shouted subscribe. to Percy, and he said, Percy, quick, quick. Wake up, we're nearly late. But Percy seems to be stuck in his garage. And Percy shouted out, Hey guys, I'm stuck. The door won't open. So Thomas and James have to phone for help to see if they can find someone to open the door for Percy. But who would they call? Of course, they'd only call one person they knew who has a big drill. And it's Rubble from Paw Patrol. Hey Rubble, shouted James and Thomas from in the background. What's up guys, said Rubble. It's Percy, or about Percy. He's stuck behind his number six door. Do you think you could use your drill to get him out? I'll most certainly try my best, said Rubble. So Rubble got into position, he turned the truck around, and slowly but surely, the arm started going to work and he started to drill but oh no he worked so hard that his tractor started going up in flames and he jumped out oh no quick phone for help we need to help someone who's gonna put this fire out but who would they call only fireman Sam hey guys shouted Sam as he arrived in Jupiter the fire engine oh no this is spreading fast, we better put it out quickly. So Sam gets to work with his hose from Jupiter. And slowly but surely, the fire goes out. One by one, each flame is distinguished. Great job, said Rubble, as Fireman Sam saved the day once again by putting out all the flames that was on Rubble's tractor. And now it's time to see if the door works. Did you manage to fix it, Rubble? Of course I did, just before the drill went up in flames. Go on Sam, you can do the honours and you can see if the door works. And surely enough, the door worked straight away. Great job Rubble, you really fixed the door and you put your tractor at risk just for our Percy? Of course, there's nothing we wouldn't do for friends. So Sam saved the day and Rubble saved Percy. 
Thomas Don't forget and to subscribe Percy showed up and Thomas. no one was home. And Thomas and Percy had a great idea. Percy said, Come on, Thomas. Shall we go on one of the boats, Neptune, and li have a little drive around? Or a little paddle around? Seems it's a boat. I don't know, said Thomas, but he soon jumped on. And it wasn't long before Thomas and Percy headed off. Where are we going? said Percy. Well, let's go round and go inside where we can be safe and it can be nice and warm. So Percy and Thomas headed off towards the lifeboat station to go round the back. And around the back, they could both get in and stay on firm ground where they would be nice and safe and nice and warm. So Thomas said, come on, Percy, let's jump off. So Thomas jumped off, followed by Percy. And they enjoyed their little ride on the boat. Sometimes you don't have to go far to enjoy yourself. It's all about who you're with. And Thomas and Percy are best friends. So they wouldn't be any happier with anyone else. Hey guys, Sky said. Do you want to come to the park with me? I've got some of my best friends in the whole world coming today. Do you want to see from Paw Patrol? Of course we do, Sky. Take us over. So Sky could fly over to the bottom of the slide. But I wonder which friends would come. Would it be her Paw Patrol friends? Of course. So in came Marshall. Wow! You're looking great today, Sky, said Marshall. And the slide's looking fantastic too. I can't wait to get on it. But who would be next? Of course, it's Rubble. And Rubble said, Oh, I remember building these slides in this park and the swings. It was lots of fun. And Chase said, I remember looking after this park and making sure it's safe for everyone. So come on in, guys. Let's get on and play. So Marshall went up the slide and down he went. Woo! Loads of fun. Come on, Sky. It's now your turn. But Sky could fly up to the top. So she puts her wings in and down she goes. Woohee! Loads of fun, said Sky. But who would be next? Of course, it's Rubble. Come on, Rubble, go. So they get a closer look and we'll see Rubble going down. Come on, Rubble, go. But Rubble was a little bit scared. That was a lot more fun than I thought. And Chase came in and said, Come on, guys, let's go on the swings. So Marshall and Chase went on the swings, but Chase swung too fast and he fell off. Oh no, it's okay, I'm fine, said Chase. That was lots of fun. Come on, Chase. And Sky, so Sky went on the swings with Rubble, and back and forth she swung. Weehee, loads of fun, Rubble said. Watch you don't fall off, said Chase. So after being on the swings for a little bit too long, it was time to get off and go home. And they was all headed off to different places. Sky was going home. Rubble was going to get his tractor at the construction site. Marshall was going to the fire station. And Chase was going to the police station. But Sky said, thanks guys for coming. I really like spending time with you. Having special friends like you is what life's all about. At the Gotham Don't forget City to subscribe. The evil Lego Joker had stolen Paw Patrol's Chase's police car. Oh no. But the Joker said, come on, bad cop. And it looked like the bad cop had stolen a tractor. But whose tractor would it be? It's only Paw Patrol's Rubble's tractor. Great job, said Joker. We managed to seize these vehicles without them catching us. But out of nowhere, the Joker could see Chase and Rubble running towards the Gotham City Jail. And Rubble said, Oi, stop! What do you think you're doing with my tractor, bad cop? Get out of there. Come on, Chase. Let's get him. So in came Chase. And he said, Joker, 
What are you doing in my police car? Stop! And as Rubble looked at the bad cop, he jumped up and took him down. Ha ha! Now who's winning? So Rubble got his bucket from his tractor and pushed the bad cop out of the way. But the Joker said, no way, I'm not having that, as Batman came in and said, what's going on here? Joker, bad cop, what are you guys doing here? And Rubble said, they stole our cars. Joker stole a police car and bad cop stole a tractor as a Joker run down chase. Oh no, I'm not having that, said Batman as he made sure the bad cop was down for good. Now it's Joker's turn, as Chase got back up. Come on Chase, drag the bad cop away. And now, it's your turn Joker. Don't think you're getting away with this. So Rubble raised his bucket on the front of his tractor and he tried to take down the Joker. Bush, bush and he still couldn't take the joker down but he had a cool idea to use his drill so he put the drill up and he said that's it you're going down Pew! and he managed to take the joker down good job said chase i can now have my police car back so they put the joker into the zapping machine on the top of gotham city go on batman zap him Bzz, bzz. and the zapping machine had taken the Joker away. So working as a team, Chase, Rubble and Batman managed to get the cars and they tracked us back. Don't forget to subscribe, said Chase. Peppa Pig and Marshall were at the treehouse when Marshall said, Hey Peppa, do you think you could try and fix the elevator for me? Of course I could, said Peppa. So Peppa said, I'm going to have to climb onto the top of the branch though, as Peppa climbed up on top of the tree house. But she was actually on top of the tree. Oh no, Peppa said. I've managed to fix it, but I'm now I'm stuck. Wait there, shouted Marshall. I'll jump up and I'll try to help you. Oh, you're too far up for me, said Marshall. I better go and get some help quick. Hold on, Pepper. It won't be long. So Marshall headed off down the slide to go and get some help. Meanwhile, Chase and Rubble were at the police station in Paw Patrol Land when Marshall came running in, out, all out of breath. And Chase said, What's up, Marshall? Marshall said, Quick, you have to come. It's Pepper. What about Pepper? said Rubble. She's in trouble. Oh no, really? Let's go. Follow me, said Marshall, as Marshall headed off back to the treehouse. Let's go, Chase said, so Rubble jumped into his tractor and off he went, following Marshall. Come on, Chase, shouted Rubble, let's go. So Chase jumped up and said, come on, we can do this, let's go and save Pepper together. So off they went to save Pepper. So Marshall got back to the treehouse and Pepper was still fine. Hold on, Marshall said. I've managed to find Chase and Rubble. Oh, great stuff, Pepper said. Hopefully they can save me. As Marshall jumped back up, just in case, Pepper needed him. So where are they? said Pepper. And here Chase came flying in. And he said, oh, you're stuck up the tree. How did you get up there? Never mind. Let's get you down first. That's our main priority. As Rubble came in, and Rubble couldn't believe it, he said, oh no, how did you get up there? I've got a cool idea how to get you down. I can use my tractor to get you down. So Rubble got into position and lifted the front bucket on his tractor up and angled it just so Pepper could jump in. And he said, jump in, Pepper. But Peppa was really scared. And Marshall said, it's okay, Peppa. It's a big tractor and it's a big bucket. And you can trust us and Rubble. 
Okay, said Peppa. I'll trust you guys. But Peppa moved forward and jumped into the bucket. Wow! Yay! Everyone shouted. Peppa's safe and they could all relax. So come on, Rubble. Bring Peppa over here so we can have a word. So Rubble moved forward and tried to drop down Peppa as softly as he could. But it is a tractor after all. And Peppa rolled out just like a little piggy. But Peppa was just fine. And she said, thanks guys, I can't thank you enough. You really saved me this time. What was you doing up there though? Said Chase and Rubble. Oh, I was just trying to fix the cool lift that we have for the treehouse. But it was Marshall who came down and said, hey guys, it was my fault. I should have done it. I shouldn't have let Peppa do it. After all, I am a firefighter and used to climbing up trees. It's okay, but at least we fixed the lift and Peppa's safe. So everyone's a winner. So at least Pepper was safe is the main thing. Paw Patrol to the rescue. Yeah. Don't Should forget we go to for subscribe. A ride in our garbage truck, yeah. Pepper said. Pepper, come on, George, follow me. Let's jump inside. So Pepper goes inside the garbage truck, followed by George. And George said, "Wow, the truck's the same colour as my T-shirt. That's my favourite colour, blue." As George jumped into the garbage truck as well. time to go on the garbage truck run. But where would they go? Where are we going? said George. You'll see, said Peppa. So off they went to their first destination. Wow! It's only the workshop down in Pontapandi, said George. Really? Ah, super cool. Tom Thomas said, finally, you're you. I've been waiting ages for you guys to turn up. Where have you been? Ah, we've been busy. It's our first day on a job. So Pepper said, Hey Tom Thomas, how are you? I'm great, Thomas said. Can't wait for you guys to take my rubbish away so then I can fill it back up again. So Pepper goes behind the garbage truck and pushes the bucket to the back of the truck and said, Go on George. Hit the button. So George hit the, hit the button and up and down the garbage truck went. Emptying the garbage out of the bin. Wow. Said Thomas, I love your truck, Pepper. Looks so cool. Great job, Pepper, said Thomas. I'll see you next month. See you next month, said Peppa, as Peppa headed back into the truck. And once she was in the truck, it was time to go. But where would they go next? So off they go. They go into Pontapandi Fire Station. See you next time. Pontapandi Fire Station. Fireman Sam and Naughty Norman were waiting patiently for Peppa and George to arrive. Once they arrived, they turned the truck around and they got into position, reversing into the bin. Whilst Pepper jumped out and made her way over to Fireman Sam and said, Hey guys, how are you two today? And Norman and Fireman Sam were great. What a sunny day it is, said Norman. It's a great day to be out on the bins collecting everyone's rubbish. Watch this, Norman. Watch how cool George is now. Press the button, George, said Norman, so up and down the bin went. Wow, Norman said. That is so cool. I know, it's so much fun, shouted George, but it was time to go. So once they released the bin from the back of the truck, it was time for Pepper to jump back in. And once Pepper jumped back in, they were off again. Where are you off now? asked Fireman Sam. Our next destination is the garage. I wonder who will be at the garage. See you next time guys. It's only Daddy Pig luck, shouted Pepper and George out of the window as they reversed onto the, this bin. 
at the, the garage. Wow. So Pepper jumps out of the garbage truck as always. And she said, hey daddy, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just looking after the garage for Grandad Dog. Dog's like, he always loves to go out and about. Wow, look at that, said Daddy Pig. That looks like so much fun. Is George doing that? He definitely is, said Peppa. Wow, what a cool job you guys have. I'm so proud of you. George loves pushing the button up and down to get the bin down. Good job, George. You're finished now. Time to jump out. Should we stay with Daddy Pig for the day? Are we done, said George. Wow. Hey, Daddy. How are you today? I'm great. I'm just looking after the garage for Grandad Dog, said Daddy Pig. Wow. Look at that cool fire engine. I know. It's in for a service. So Pepper and George, they a monthly run. But I wonder if George and Pepper would do this again. We really enjoy this job, said Pepper and George. If you guys Thanks enjoyed it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe, subscribe for some more. very special trains to come in to the garage today. But I wonder who it would be. So Emmett waited. And then he could see him coming. And he said, look guys, here they are now. And you knew who it was. It was the famous Thomas the Tank Engine and Mavis. And Thomas said, hey Emmett, how are you? I'm great, said Emmett. How are you, Mavis, Emmett said. And Mavis was just fine. What a cool garage you have, Emmett, said Thomas. And we could really do with the service. Well, I am the master builder, said Emmett. And I can do the service in two. So who's going to go first? So Mavis jumped on first. And Emmett said, watch this now, Thomas. Watch my famous light. And this light tells me everything that's wrong with a car, like a scanner. So basically all I have to do is scan whatever is in front of me and I know what's wrong with it. And Emmett got to work. All done now, Mavis. It's time for Thomas. So Emmett scans Thomas and gets to work. All done now, said Emmett. Great job, guys. How are you both feeling? Thomas and Mavis were feeling fantastic and said, thanks, Emmett. You're the best master builder ever. We'll definitely recommend the other trains to come to you. So if you guys liked Emmett fixing Thomas and Mavis, Marshall don't forget to like this video the post and subscribe for more. at the Pontopandi office See you next when he time. sees Tom Thomas coming in in his helicopter. Wow, said Marshall. Your helicopter's looking great, Tom Thomas. Have you cleaned her? Of course. I always give it a clean in the morning. It's looking really good, Marshall said. I'm expecting some of my friends to come round. They'd love to see a helicopter. Would you be able to show them? Of course, said Tom Thomas. Hey, Chase, said Thomas. How are you? And Chase was just fine. But who's coming with you? It's only one of your best friends, Rubble. Hey, Marshall. Hey, Chase. Hey, Tom Thomas. How are you? What a cool helicopter you got. Can we have a closer look at it? Of course! So Tom Thomas moved the helicopter closer for Rubble and Chase to have a look. Wow! It's so clean! It's one of my most favourite helicopters I've ever seen in my life! Really? This is one of the rescue helicopters for Pontapandi Fire Station and the Lookout and the Ocean Rescue Centre. Wow! I bet you've saved loads of people's lives in this. Definitely! I got loads of stories I could tell about this helicopter. So Rubble and Chase was really impressed with Tom Thomas's helicopter. 
What do you guys think of Tom Thomas's helicopter? Do you like it? So Marshall said, come on guys, should we all go and get some food? So after looking at the helicopter, they all went off to have some food. Do you think you could take us out in the helicopter someday, Tom Thomas? Of course. Any time you like, just pop round and ask, as long as we're not busy. So come on in, let's go and get some food. Peppa Pig and Fireman Sam. So if you Sam. like this helicopter, I give this video a like to have food. And don't forget and dinner time at the Pontypandy Fire myself. Station. When Peppa said, hey Sam, I've got a few friends coming over today, is that okay? And Sam said, of course, who's coming? So who would come for dinner with Peppa and Sam? I wonder who it would be. And out of nowhere came in Tom Thomas in his Pontapandi helicopter and said, Hey guys, food looks great from up here. Do you mind if I join you? Of course not, said Sam. So Sam joined and said, Hey, come on Tom Thomas, land the helicopter so you can come and join us for food. But there were still more places at the table. There was four in total. So I wonder who else would come to have food with Pepper and Sam. Of course, it's Ryder from Paw Patrol. And Ryder said, oh, look at that. The table's just the right height for me. I don't even have to get off my quad bike. Wow. So Tom Thomas got out and shook Sam's hand and said, thanks, Sam, for letting me have food with you. That's okay. Come on, let's tuck in. So Pepper Pig, Fireman Sam, Tom Thomas and Ryder all started to eat their food. And it was really tasty. Mmm, so good, said Sam. Hope you guys like it. But out of nowhere came Officer Steele. And Officer Steele said, Is there any room for me, Sam? No, there isn't. There's only four plates and four knives and forks. But Sam said, That's okay. I'll jump up and you can sit in my chair because I'm full now. Oh, really? Sam was so generous as he hopped off and Officer Steele took his place and Pepper said oh I love having food with my friends do you guys like having food with your friends if you do comment below and like this video thanks Sam he makes the best dinner ever don't forget to subscribe said Peppa Pig Grandad Dog and George just had a phone call from Pepper, and Pepper said her fire engine was really dirty. So Grandad Dog said to George, grab the hose, George, from the cleaning dispenser. So with a helping hand, George grabs the hose from the cleaning unit, and George said, wow. I can't wait to see Pepper's fire engine. I bet it looks really cool. So in comes Pepper, and Grandad Dog said, Oh no, Pepper, your fire engine is really dirty today. How did you manage that? And Pepper said, I was just going to a job, and I hit a big puddle on the way, and it just made my fire engine so dirty. I needed to come down to see you guys. To see if you could clean it for me. So George said, Grandad, do you mind if I clean it? And Grandad said, Of course not, George. So with the help in hand, with the hose, George cleans the dirt off Pepper's fire engine. So Pepper said, Wow, it's coming up really clean, Pepper got a few stubborn bits but it's coming up really nice your hose is clean now and the side of the truck just a bit in the front and we're all done so once pe once peppers waiting to have the fire engine cleaned George cleans up the dirt from the truck that's fallen onto the floor because you've got to be super clean so George says to Grandad Dog, Grandad, I've done now. Do you want to check it out? So Grandad the Dog just double checks George's work 
and said, wow, you did a great job, George. Really good. Good work. So, fire, so the fire engine and Pepper can now get to the next job and they'll be super clean looking sharp. So Peppa Pig says thanks guys I'll see you again soon. So Peppa goes off to the fire station while George and Grandad Dog wait for their next customer. George said don't forget to subscribe guys. Peppa said good work guys it looked like you was having a load of fun as well. I'll, I'll come and join you. So Peppa joins Thomas and Percy for a bit of fun, safe fun, and then PC Selby jumps in his police car and heads off. So Thomas, Percy and Peppa and PC Selby are all happy now. Safe play is fun. Peppa, George and Rebecca Rabbit all went down to the bottom of the garden, to the treehouse, but George had jumped on the seesaw and he said, Peppa, could you jump on the seesaw with me? Oh, that sounds like loads of fun, Rebecca Rabbit said. So George jumps on. And up and down they go. Like a seesaw. And I wonder who would win. The winner is the one who's on the bottom. And the loser's in the air. And they're up and down they go. So much fun, Rebecca Rabbit said. But George had won. Wow. So shall we go up? Into the treehouse, said Peppa to Rebecca Rabbit. What a cool idea, George and Rebecca Rabbit said. But how are we going to get up there? We'll use this cool slide. And we'll go up the cool chair. You can't use the slide, said George. You have to use the chair to get up there. As Peppa went up on the escalator chair. Once Peppa was up, she shouted down and said, Rebecca Rabbit, come on, it's your turn now. But Rebecca Rabbit was laying down, silly Rebecca Rabbit. But Rebecca Rabbit finally jumps on. And up she went, you're facing the wrong way. But finally she got inside and she said, wow, look how cool this place is. It looks really, really cool. Maybe we could sleep up here, that would be so cool. And George said, Come on, guys, look who's coming. And out of nowhere, Daddy Pig came along and said, Right, guys, it's time to go home and have some food. Do you want to join us, Rebecca Rabbit? Great idea, Rebecca Rabbit said. But where's Mammy Pig? Peppa said. And Mammy Pig was shortly behind Daddy Pig, and she said, Come on, guys, we've been calling you for ages. I know you're having lots of fun out here. But we have to go inside to have some food. Okay, said Peppa. Let me go down the slide. So Peppa went down the slide. Oh no, she hit George. Really? But George was just fine. And he said, come on, Peppa, get up. So as Peppa got up, he hit George over again. Oh no. But who's next? Gonna go down the slide. It's only Rebecca Rabbit. But would Rebecca Rabbit hit Peppa as she went down the slide? Maybe. Out of the way, said Rebecca, as she went down the slide. Oh, no! But they all laughed and said, hee hee hee, that was really fun. But they were all okay. Oh, silly Peppa, George and Rebecca Rabbit, said Mammy Pig. you got to watch when you go down the slide if your friends are not in the way. We're all okay. It was loads of fun, said Pepper and George. Okay, guys, said Daddy Pig. Let's go in and have our food. I'm really hungry. Okay. So everyone had a great day at the treehouse. Don't forget to subscribe, said Pepper. Oh no, it looks like it's been snowing, blue snow, down in Daddy Pig's house. So Daddy Pig arrives home. And he says, oh no guys, look, look at all this blue snow everywhere. What are we going to do? Oh no, Daddy Pig slipped on the snow. Watch out Daddy Pig, it's really slippery. And why is it blue?
Well, it looks really cool to me, said Peppa Pig and Fireman Sam. So Fireman Sam sits down so he doesn't fall over. And Peppa Pig does the same. And Daddy Pig said, we're going to have to get someone in to clear this up, because we can't even get through the door. It's all piled up against the door, and we can't get in. But out of nowhere comes Everest with the snowmobile. We can clear this, guys. This snowplow is meant for this kind of job. So let's get to work and start cleaning the snow away. <laughs> Wow, great job, said Fireman Sam, Peppa Pig and Daddy Pig to Everest, who saved the day, who cleared all the snow away with a cool snow plow. Don't forget to subscribe, said Peppa. Daddy Pig, Peppa Pig and George were all coming back from a camping trip, and they had left Mammy Pig in the house. Finally we're home, said Peppa and George, and Daddy Pig jumped out, but he could see some smoke on the engine. And before he knew it, the car blew up in flames. And he said, jump out, Pepper, Jump out, George, quick. As the fire spread, and he went off the call for help. And Daddy Pig said, quick, Fireman Sam. We really need your help over here. Our car just went up in flames. And Fireman Sam didn't mess about, and he got there in double quick time. And he said, oh no, look at your car, Daddy Pig. Watch out, guys, stand back. So Sam jumped on top of Venus, and he started putting the fire out. But he was putting up such a struggle, he nearly called for backup. But finally, he managed to start putting it out. And one by one, the flames went out. Great job, said Daddy Pig. It's just like new. You really saved the day again, Sam. Well done. We're really proud of you. And Pepper and George were really, really happy. It's okay, said Sam. I'm glad you called me when you did. Don't forget to subscribe, said Pepper. Daddy Pig had gone out and bought some Halloween toys for Pepper. He bought a pumpkin, an evil eye, and a skeleton. I wonder what Pepper would think. All of which were for Halloween. So Pepper came in. And Peppa said, wow, Daddy Pig, these are huge. They're just the same size as me. That's so cool. I wonder what they do. Well, these are not just any Halloween toys. These ones can move and they can walk on their own. Really? Well, let's take a look. So we wind them up and off they go. So we'll do the evil eye first. Oh, he jumped in the air, said Daddy Pig. Oh, no. Oh, it's heading for you, Peppa. Watch out. Oh. And it hit Peppa Pig and Daddy Pig started laughing, saying, Ha ha, are you okay, Peppa? And Peppa was just fine. Go over there, skeleton. Out of the way. So Peppa got back up and said, Oh, these pumpkins are dangerous. Oh, look, it hit Peppa again. Oh no, are you okay, Peppa? And Peppa was just laughing on the floor, giggling to herself. Saying, I can't believe two of the Halloween toys hit me. I thought these were supposed to be friendly. They are. They didn't mean it. Are you okay, Peppa? I'm fine. And I love my Halloween toys, Daddy Pig. Thanks for buying them. That's okay. Now you can share them with George when George comes home. And show Mammy Pig too. So Peppa really enjoyed her new Halloween toys. 
What do you guys think? Let us know in the box below. Daddy Pig had come round to the woodland playset to see Richard. And Peppa came in and said, hey Richard, how are you? And Peppa started messing about with Richard and tickling him. Kid, come on, stop messing around, said Daddy Pig. Let's go and take a look around the woodland playset. Look how cool it is. I can see some candy canes, cookies, smarties, and even some obbies in the cauldron. Now come on, Daddy Pig, pick one out. So with a helping hand, we pick one of the blue or bees balls out of the cauldron and we tip it on top of the cookies and the smarties. Wow, it went straight back in the pot. Let's get it back out. Come on, let's tip them out and see how cool they look on the floor. So with a helping hand, we can place them on the floor. And Pepper, Richard and Daddy Pig all really love the blue or bees balls. What's behind that door? said Pepper. Let's go and take a look. So Daddy Pig, Richard and Pepper Pig all went through the door. Wow! More candy canes and more smarties. Let us know in the comments below if you guys like the new woodland playset from Pepper Pig. Don't forget to subscribe, said Pepper. Daddy Pig and Pepper Pig had just arrived home after being at the park all day. And Pepper said, Oh, that was really fun at the park, Daddy Pig, thanks, as he jumped out of the car. And Daddy Pig wanted to park the car up and he said, Come on, Pepper, it's nearly time for bed now. Let's go. But Pepper could hear someone at the door. Oh, I wonder who that could be, said Daddy Pig, as he headed over towards the door. And as he opened the door, he said, Wow, look who it is, Pepper. It's Emily, Thomas the Tank Engine, James and Diesel. Wow, what are you guys doing here? asked Peppa Pig. And Thomas replied, saying, Oh, it's really cold out there tonight, guys. Do you think we could have a sleepover? A Play-Doh sleepover, like we used to back in the old days? Of course, said Daddy Pig. Let me just go and get you some Play-Doh blankets. Oh, guys, this is going to be so cool, said Peppa Pig. As Daddy arrived with the new Play-Doh blankets that he made, it was a green one. Oh, don't be silly, Daddy Pig. It's on your head. That was loads of fun, said Daddy Pig, as he went off to get another Play-Doh blanket. But I wonder what colour this Play-Doh blanket would be. Can you guys guess? Of course, it's orange which is James and Peppa's favourite colour. So guys, I think you better decide who you're going to stay with, because you've only got two blankets tonight, so you'll have to share. OK, said James and Diesel. We'll stay together. And Thomas and Emily will have to stay together. That sounds like a great idea to me, said Thomas and Emily. So Daddy Pig and Peppa put the orange Play-Doh blanket over James and Diesel. That left the green blanket to go over Emily and Thomas. Wow, these are really comfy guys, but they all started to yawn as night time came upon them. And it wasn't long before they all fell asleep. But night time doesn't last long when you sleep in, and it was really time to wake up again. But I wonder who would wake him up. But Daddy Pig woke up James. And Diesel, wow, and he said, come on guys, wakey wakey, it's time to wake up. So everyone got up. And now it was up to Peppa to wake up Emily and Thomas. So Peppa jumps on Emily and Thomas, and he said, come on guys, it's time to wake up. Oh, and everyone was so tired, Thomas and friends were really tired this morning because they had a busy day yesterday. So what are you guys up to today? Well, we are going back to work to get on the train line. Oh, great job. So they all headed out the door. One by one, they all left. But before they left, Diesel, Thomas, James and Emily couldn't thank Daddy Pig and Peppa Pig enough 
for the really cool sleepover they had. You're welcome any time, said Daddy Pig. You're some of our best friends in the world. Don't forget to subscribe, said Peppa. Peppa Pig had borrowed Daddy Pig's car to go to the park. When she said, oh, there's the slide now. And Peppa Pig was really, really excited to try the slide out. Because this is Spaceship Peppa. But out of nowhere, it started to rain. And it was Orbeez balls that started to come down from the heavens above. And Peppa couldn't believe her luck. And she was stuck in what we'll call an Orbeez rainstorm. Oh no, shouted Peppa. And she got out of the car. And she said, wow, this is really cool. But before she knew it, the rainstorm just kept coming and coming. And before she knew it, she was stuck at the park in Daddy Pig's car with a rain full of Orbeez balls. But luckily for Peppa Pig, Daddy Pig could use the speedboat to come and save Peppa. And Daddy Pig said, hey Peppa, I thought that you would get caught out in this rain. These Orbeez rainstorms can be really dangerous sometimes. Loads of fun, but still, you don't want to get too stuck and we need you to get home to have some food. So Peppa Pig said, oh, Daddy Pig, you really saved the day today. The car's stuck and now we can use your speedboat to get home. So Daddy Pig said, come on, Peppa, jump on. So Peppa Pig jumped on to Daddy Pig's speedboat and off they went. And now the speedboat can drive over the Orbeez balls. So Peppa was really excited to get home and have some food. So come on, Daddy Pig, let's go. So Daddy Pig kind of saved the day today. If you guys would like to get stuck in an Orbeez rainstorm, don't forget to subscribe, said Peppa. Daddy Pig and Peppa Pig had just arrived home after being at the park all day. And Peppa said, oh, that was really fun at the park, Daddy Pig, thanks, as he jumped out of the car. And Daddy Pig wanted to park the car up and he said, come on, Peppa, it's nearly time for bed now. Let's go. But Peppa could hear someone at the door. Oh, I wonder who that could be, said Daddy Pig, as he headed over towards the door. And as he opened the door, he said, wow, look who it is, Peppa. It's Emily, Thomas the Tank Engine, James and Diesel. Wow, what are you guys doing here, asked Peppa Pig. And Thomas replied, saying, oh, it's really cold out there tonight, guys. Do you think we could have a sleepover, a Play-Doh sleepover, like we used to back in the old days? Of course, said Daddy Pig. Let me just go and get you some Play-Doh blankets. Oh, guys, this is going to be so cool, said Peppa Pig. As Daddy arrived with the new Play-Doh blankets that he made, it was a green one. Oh, don't be silly, Daddy Pig. It's on your head. That was loads of fun, said Daddy Pig, as he went off to get another Play-Doh blanket. But I wonder what colour this Play-Doh blanket would be. Can you guys guess? Of course, it's orange, which is James and Peppa's favourite colour. So guys, I think you better decide who you're going to stay with, because you've only got two blankets tonight. So you'll have to share. OK, said James and Diesel. We'll stay together. And Thomas and Emily will have to stay together. That sounds like a great idea to me, said Thomas and Emily. So Daddy Pig and Peppa put the orange Play-Doh blanket over James and Diesel. That left the green blanket to go over Emily and Thomas. Wow. These are really comfy, guys. But they all started to yawn as night time came upon them. And it wasn't long before they all fell asleep. But night time doesn't last long when you sleep in, and it was really time to wake up again. But I wonder who would wake him up. But Daddy Pig woke up James and Diesel. Wow! And he said, come on guys, wakey wakey, it's time to wake up. So everyone got up. And now it was up to Peppa to wake up Emily and Thomas. So Peppa jumps on. Emily and Thomas and he said come on guys it's time to wake up oh 
and everyone was so tired. Thomas and friends were really tired this morning because they had a busy day yesterday. So what are you guys up to today? Well, we are going back to work to get on the train line. Oh, great job. So they all headed out the door. One by one, they all left. But before they left, Diesel, Thomas, James and Emily couldn't thank Daddy Pig and Peppa Pig enough for the really cool sleepover they had. You're welcome any time, said Daddy Pig. You're some of our best friends in the world. Don't forget to subscribe, said Peppa. Daddy Pig had come round to the woodland playset to see Richard. And Peppa came in and said, hey Richard, how are you? And Peppa started messing about with Richard and tickling him. Kid, come on, stop messing around, said Daddy Pig. Let's go and take a look around the woodland playset. Look how cool it is. I can see some candy canes, cookies, smarties, and even some obbies in the cauldron. Now come on, Daddy Pig, pick one out. So with a helping hand, we pick one of the blue obbies balls out of the cauldron. And we tip it on top of the cookies and the smarties. Wow, it went straight back in the pot. Let's get it back out. Come on, let's tip them out and see how cool they look on the floor. So with a helping hand, we can place them on the floor. And Peppa, Richard and Daddy Pig all really love the blue or bees balls. What's behind that door? said Peppa. Let's go and take a look. So Daddy Pig, Richard and Peppa Pig all went through the door. Wow! More candy canes and more smarties. Let us know in the comments below if you guys like the new woodland playset from Peppa Pig. Don't forget to subscribe, said Peppa. Daddy Pig, Peppa Pig and George were just off to the campsite at the Playmobil campsite. And Daddy Pig said, here we are guys, we're here ready. So Peppa Pig jumped out and she shouted to George to say, George, come on, quick, come and look at this cool campsite. We've got a cool tent, a fire, a sleeping bag, and a cool tree with some nice birds on it. So Daddy Pig said, right guys, I'm going to have to go home now, because Mommy Pig is cooking up a storm in the house. So Daddy Pig had to shoot off for home. Be safe guys, if you need me, give me a ring, said Daddy Pig. Leaving Pepper and George at the campsite. This is one safe campsite. So Pepper and George said, look, look at them birds, and they called the birds down. And the little birdies tweeted along, and they came down to see Pepper and George. So friendly, said Pepper. Come on, let's go and have some food, said George. So they headed over to the campsite, and Pepper started to cook a hot dog. Wow, that looks so tasty, said George. I can't wait to have a little bit of it. So Pepper took a bite. Mmm, scrumptious. You go, George, you have some too. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So good, said George, as they, as they put the hot dog back on the fire. So come on, George, let's go and sit over there. So Pepper went to sit on the log, and George jumped into the sleeping bag, and he was time to go to sleep. Good night, George, said Pepper. So George went to sleep. But before George knew it, it was morning already, and Daddy Pig had came to pick him back up. And Daddy Pig jumped out and said, Come on, George, wake up. It's time to get up now. And George jumped up with Pepper. And Daddy Pig said, Did you guys have fun? I'm glad I can trust you now you've all grown up and you can trust you on your own. Oh, thanks, Daddy Pig. Come on, let's go home. Mommy's made breakfast for us. So Pepper Pig, George and Daddy Pig all had a great time at the campsite. Don't forget to subscribe said Peppa. Daddy Pig, Peppa Pig and George were all coming back from a camping trip and they had left Mammy Pig in the house. Finally we're home, said Peppa and George and Daddy Pig jumped out. But he could see some smoke on the engine and before he knew it, the car 
blew up in flames and he said jump out pepper jump out george quick as the fire spread and he went off the call for help and daddy pig said quick fireman sam we really need your help over here our car just went up in flames and fireman sam didn't mess about and he got there in double quick time and he said oh no look at your car daddy pig watch out guys stand back so sam jumped on top of venus and he started putting the fire out but he was putting up such a struggle he nearly called for backup but finally he managed to start putting it out and one by one the flames went out great job said daddy pig it's just like new you really saved the day again sam well done we're really proud of you and pepper and george were really really happy it's okay said sam i'm glad you called me when you did don't forget to subscribe said pepper pepper pig had just gone out and bought a new dress and a new crown where is your new toy asked daddy pig and Peppa Pig rushed off to get her new toy. But what toy would it be? It's only one toy, said George. It's only the fairy tale swan from Once Upon a Time, a graceful swan at that, said Mammy Pig. Wow, Peppa, where did you get it from? Well, I dreamed about it, and it just turned up outside one day. It must have been the fairy tale that I had. Now I can make up loads of stories with it. So Peppa Pig jumped off and George jumped on. And George really, really likes the swan. But Peppa Pig said, Mommy, Daddy Pig, do you mind if I keep the swan? Oh, I don't know, said Daddy Pig. Of course you can, said Mommy Pig. As long as you keep it outside and you keep it clean. Okay, said Daddy Pig, of course you can keep it. It's such a beautiful swan and we love your new dress as well. It looks really cool. So Peppa Pig is allowed to keep the swan and maybe she can create some fairy tale stories with a new toy. Don't forget to subscribe, said Peppa. And off he goes. He's checking to make sure everything's safe. There we go, said Fireman Sam. All the checks are done. And he was expecting a delivery of a new bike to add to the fleet. So the delivery driver brings the bike in and Sam said, wow, that bike looks super cool. Let me have a go, said Sam. So Sam jumps on and he gives the bike a little drive and he sees how it goes. So he takes the bike for a little drive and the delivery driver said, calm down, Sam. You might hurt yourself. I won't hurt myself, said Sam. I can drive anything. And Sam was really happy with his new bike that he had ordered for the Pont de Pandy fire crew. So on reflection, it was a great purchase. Sam, Thanks, delivery driver, Pink. for bringing such We're a at cool the Pont de Pandy fire bike station to the fleet. And the air show was on. Sam can get to And work. today, the air show to was going to lend Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig their aeroplanes. Wow, here's one now, and this one's numbered number one, said Pepper, and it's blue, just like Sam's jumper. Wow, that's amazing. Look at him flying in the sky, Sam, said Pepper. Really cool, said Sam, and he landed. Is that it? No, it was his friend's turn to have a go as well. So the red helicopter came in. And Pepper shouted, look, it's on fire. No, it's not, said Sam. That's just a sticker on the front. As the aeroplane flied around the Pontapandi fire station. So once they landed, Pepper and Sam said, jump out, guys. Can we have a go? Wow. Let's jump in, said Pepper. So Pepper jumps in the blue one. And Sam jumps in the red one, because Sam loves red is his favourite colour, just like Jupiter the fire engine. Once Sam was in, he circled around, and he flew around the Pond of Pandy fire station. Go on, Peppa, now it's Peppa's turn. So Peppa was hanging out one side, and Peppa shouted, saying, Wow, 
I can see why you guys enjoy driving these so much. It's so much fun. And Peppa really likes the blue number one plane. Could we borrow them for the weekend? Asked Sam and Peppa. Oh, I don't know about that, said the Imagine X men. Oh, go on. Just this and once. We look after them, we promise, and we'll George. clean them. We're just okay. off to the campsite. And they shook the hands. Playmobil so they agreed campsite. to lend the plane. Daddy Pig said, Here we are, guys. To Peppa We're here ready. So Peppa Pig jumped out and she shouted to George to say, George, come on, quick, come on, look at this cool campsite. We've got a cool tent, a fire, a sleeping bag, and a cool tree with some nice birds on it. So Daddy Pig said, Right, guys, I'm going to have to go home now. Because Mommy Pig is cooking up a storm in the house. So Daddy Pig had to shoot off for home. Be safe guys, if you need me, give me a ring, said Daddy Pig. Leaving Pepper and George at the campsite. This is one safe campsite. So Pepper and George said, look, look at them birds. And they called the birds down. And the little birdies tweeted along and they came down to see Pepper and George. So friendly, said Pepper. Come on, let's go and have some food, said George. So they headed over to the campsite, and Peppa started to cook a hot dog. Wow, that looks so tasty, said George. I can't wait to have a little bit of it. So Peppa took a bite. Mmm, scrumptious. You go, George, you have some too. Mmm, 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 so good, said George, as they, as they put the hot dog back on the fire. So come on, George, let's go and sit over there. So Peppa went to sit on the log, and George jumped into the sleeping bag, and it was time to go to sleep. Good night, George, said Peppa. So George went to sleep. But before George knew it, it was morning already, and Daddy Pig had came to pick him back up. And Daddy Pig jumped out and said, Come on, George, wake up. It's time to get up now. And George jumped up with Peppa. And Daddy Pig said, did you guys have fun? I'm glad I can trust you now you've all grown up and you can trust you on your own. Oh, thanks, Daddy Pig. Come on, let's go home. Mommy's made breakfast for us. So Peppa Pig, shouted George Pig, and Daddy Pig all had a great time. The soda the workshop as Don't Fireman Sam subscribed. arrived and Sam Peppa. said, hold on, Peppa. I'll come and get you now. As Sam reversed the truck up and he pulled on the Jupiter's arm which is to save Pepper. So come on, Pepper. Now it's time for you to jump on the top of the platform. So Pepper jumps on and she sits down. Oh, I feel much better, said Pepper Pig. Come on, Sam, lower me down. It won't take too long. So Percy and Thomas couldn't believe that Pepper Pig was hovering above her. Hold on, said Pepper. This is gonna get rough. Oh no, it wasn't that rough after all, said Peppa. So Peppa jumps off Jupiter, and she said, Come on, Sam, jump out of Jupiter so we can have a chat. So with the help from Percy and Thomas, Peppa Pig managed to get some help from Fireman Sam, who will save the day once again. Percy and Thanks, Thomas, said Peppa. just you don't have to day's thank work, us. said Thomas. On the railway, when Thomas and Percy You're said, Rubble and Sky are coming over. I wonder what they've got for us. Will they have some surprise eggs? No, said Skye. But Rubble might. Where's Rubble? And Skye was really excited to see Thomas and Percy. Hey guys, said Skye. 